Greetings, I'm Bishop Jim Sherman, Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Milwaukee. Thanks for joining us today for another Advent reflection on the sacred scriptures. Not long ago, I had a conversation with a married couple about their dream house. They actually built the house themselves according to their own specifications. They knew exactly what they wanted and what they needed to make the house beautiful, practical, and comfortable. It was the place where memories were made as they raised their children and established their rhythm of family life. It was truly their dream house. Today's first reading on this fourth Sunday of Advent comes from the second book of Samuel. It is a story of King David. With his great battles won, his kingdom established, he was now comfortable and content in his palace. He began to muse, here I am living in a house of cedar while the ark of God dwells in a tent. He was referring to the ark of the covenant which contained the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. It was kept in a tent. There was as of yet no temple. So David had an idea that he shared with Nathan the prophet. He would build a dream house, a temple, a house for the Lord. And Nathan agreed to his plan. However, that very night, the Lord spoke to Nathan. He told him, in effect, go say to David, you'll build a house for me? Remember, I led you and your people like a shepherd. I defeated your enemies and established a kingdom for you. No, you will not build a house for me. It is I who will build a house for you. By a house, the Lord was speaking of David's lineage, his dynasty, his dream house, the house of David. In this promise he made to David is the promise of salvation. I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make your kingdom firm. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever. Today's gospel, taken from Luke's account, is the fulfillment of that promise. The Lord sent the angel Gabriel to a virgin in Nazareth. The angel invited Mary to become the mother of the promised Messiah, the Son of God, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Because of Mary's openness to do his will, God brought his promise to fulfillment. In a few short days, we will be celebrating the solemnity of the Nativity of the Lord, Christmas. At this time in the Advent season, may we all open our hearts to allow the Lord to establish his house within us. As we prepare for the celebration of Christmas, may we prepare a place in our hearts for our Savior, who brings us light, life, and salvation. Thank you for joining us today. Join us at Christmas for Archbishop Listecki's reflection on the sacred scriptures. Stay safe and God bless you.